You, you say, in what year did we here in the Sabi Sand start naming the leopards? I don't know when Karula was named. Um, I imagine probably not too long after her birth. But basically, with the advent of tourism, leopards here started to be named because they started to be recognized. Now, leopard viewing in this area was pioneered by Mala Mala and by Londolozi. And Londolozi's leopards were made famous by John Varty, one of the owners. And he he habituated a leopard who was now is now known as the mother leopard uh, actually with Lex Hess who's driving as a guide here at the moment he's a private guide and the two of them habituated the mother leopard and they called her the mother and then from there all of her offspring and her entire lineage was named and that was in um, that was in the sort of late 70s that they started doing that so I guess you could say the late 70s. Tourism up here in the north started a bit later than that. And down in the south, they don't give them names like we do here where with, you know, Karula, George and Charlotte, for example. There they normally name them either after a piece of territory in which they live or after their spot patterns. So it'll be the 3-4 female or the 3-3 three, three female or the Mshaben female. And they always kind of put the sex at the end of it so that to... I, uh, to sort of depersonalize it, if you like, so to de-anthropomorphize it. I don't think it makes any difference to the leopard whether it's called the 3-4 female or uh, Charlotte, but that's basically the story of the naming. And I think certainly with the advent of uh, media in these areas, so social media now, we know that instead of one or two documentary watchers or just a couple hundred documentary watchers there are now thousands of people watching the fates of the animals of the Sabi sand they've all got facebook pages and there's a whole community of people around the world who've never been here and hopefully who will come here one day following and enjoying and reveling in the lives of these wonderful animals